uh, enrolled us in school. They asked us to go to school. But some of us willingly, we have decided that we are going to be school. We are going to be educated. We are going to learn, and we are learning new things every day. But you know, some of our mates are outside here. Some of them are learning. This is Western education. Some of them are learning something outside. They are not in school. They are not under any tutelage in the four world of school. But they are under tutelage of a leader, a teacher. You call them, maybe you say they are learning informal education. But I want to tell us today that the informal education has been incorporated into our schools now. That is what we have. Uh, that is what we call entrepreneurship education. But the entrepreneurship education we are studying in school is different from what they are doing outside. That's why they have chosen to be there. And we have chosen to come to school. So if, um, I want us to think of what we have chosen or what we have chosen. You know, we have chosen and we are still choosing. When you look at this, why do you choose a career? Like I said earlier, some of us have chosen, some of us are here to choose. Like my boy over here, you are in junior, junior uh, secondary school. Yeah, now, now maybe you have been thinking I want to be in art class, I want to be in commercial or technical science class. Let me let me quickly ask you, what's your name? Owen. Owen. Okay. Well, you are in junior senior secondary school. What do you want to do? What class do you want to go when you get to senior secondary school? Okay. Science class. He wants to go to science class. Hello? What, uh, what's your name? You are in senior secondary school, I know. Obona David. David. What class are you? Science? Thomas? Speak into the science class. Science class. It's working. Okay, science class. Do I have anybody in art class here? You are in art class. Can I see your finger up? Art class. Okay, thank you. Any other class? Technical class? Commercial class? Okay, that's nice. You know, the trend in our society now is we all want to be medical doctors. We want to be engineers. We want to be, we, you know, the, these professions that we have names, we call them names. They are good. This morning that we are going to look into them. The reason why you have chosen a career and the reason why you must choose a career is it chosen for you by your parents? Okay, before I leave that, I said something here. It has to do with your education. After completion of primary education, please, can you allow me to speak without this? Yes. You will hear my voice very well. I'm a teacher. I, I put here that after completing primary education, you are issued a certificate. You know that certificate is very important. My boy, I know that's that are still in junior secondary school. You are going to write junior work, which you call, what do you call it now? Bese. 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 Which one do you call it? Bese. You know, that, that, that certificate is so important in our lives. Because wherever you go in life, it will be demanded, it will be asked. If you want to travel abroad, if you want to go to senior secondary school, anything you want to do, that, that certificate is very important. And you have some courses you must do when you are in junior secondary school. How many courses do we do in junior secondary school? 14, 15, 16, 19, how many do we do? 18. In some schools, I think they do 19, 20. It depends on, on what your school. But when you're talking about junior secondary school, you are going to write this exam. Uh, I put Becker here. That is what I got from LIE's office. That you write Becker examination. And this one is comprised of all the courses you are doing in secondary school. You do it in science, art, commercial class, technical, any name you call it. That is everything you do in junior secondary school. You do everything. In the layman's language, they say, my. Jack of all trades. No, now you master up. Like I said, you must master up when you are in junior secondary school. It is then, after the junior secondary school, you now think of diversification. You now diversify. Maybe um, you, you have been doing well in arts and you want to be in science. You 
just tell your art teacher, sir, I'm not coming to art class. You know, you, you have the option of choosing. And because you, you know you do you are not living that stereotype life again. You have ten tables. You can go into science, you can go to commercial, technical, anything they call it science, pure science. But before you go into all these classes, there are some things you have to do. I put here that okay, I I I will go to the curriculum. For the curriculum for junior secondary school. This one is senior secondary school, you do SSE. Before the SSE, you must pass your number one, the basic, I'm into early years. So I always like to say this early years, anywhere I go. Early years have to do with your kindergarten, at least the former class. Your no, no, uh, age five to six, where you transit to primary school. That is my own area of specialization. From early years, you now go to junior secondary school. From your junior secondary school, you might, you might have emphasize to senior secondary school. Uh, and the senior secondary school, that's why you'll be talking about the choices, uh, your courses. Then you will have formed, you will have chosen career, you will have chosen what you do. But at the same time, YF is the final result for some of us, which I want to tell us this morning that don't let any situation demand for you. Don't let any situation tell you what to do. You have to know what you want to do. So this one, where you are in senior secondary school, you know, there are some general courses you need, which we have to do. Let me go to my, my lady. General courses, which we call core courses in secondary school. Can you tell us one or two? Just tell us two. General courses in secondary school. Your name, please. Ahmed. Okay. Thank you. Maths and English, they are general courses. Whether you like it or not, you must do maths and English. You know, so I, I, I'm sorry to say this. I heard when my um, brother was talking about mathematics. So mathematics is now very friendly. Very, very friendly. We all like maths. You see tag, I'm a maths king, I'm a maths genius, I'm a maths queen. Different things, because it has been simplified. And when you are choosing career, you know that you must pass mathematics. What do you do to mathematics? You simplify it. You do it every day. You practice it every day, it's just like your chemistry. Chemistry needs to be read every day. And that is the same thing like uh, as mathematics. I always tell students that if you have distinction A1 or true, maybe you start for nine subjects, so pass eight with A1, and mathematics is F9. The person is as good as having a, the, uh, his or her friend having F9 or true. Because with F9 mathematics, you cannot go anywhere. That's why they call them core courses. They are not the core, major course, courses we do. When you are in sciences, aside of English mathematics, please, what other one do you do? Okay, let me go to another school. IB. Okay, my boy in glasses. Yes, that boy in glasses. Aside of English and math, as a science student, what are the core courses you do? At least two or three. Thank you, biology, physics, and chemistry. Biology, we call it, we used to call it Fikemba. I don't know whether you still call it Fikemba. You carry your Lambert, you'll be working around. I'm doing Fikemba. If you don't know how a light travels, you are still doing Fikemba. But now, education is now friendly. Education is, you know, look at, sir, your name, sir. You see, Mr. Shegolani, you're sitting very close to your student. Yes, your yeah, student. Yeah. I to you, a student, unlike in the past where you see your teachers far away, mm -hmm. I always tell teachers, when you are not associating very well with your students, when you are not rubbing minds like brother, like auntie, like cousin with them, how would you understand what you are teaching them? Come down to their level. Let them see you. Let them, let them see you as their friend. As a teacher, I always, when, I, when, I, when I'm in a class, I always tell myself, I just look at myself, oh, I'm a mentor, I'm a teacher, I'm a friend, I'm a psychologist, I'm a sociologist, and so many things in class. With that, you know your students intimately. With that, they will learn what you are teaching them. Even if they don't understand, they will be so free to call you. Ah, Mr. Alanio, please, I don't understand you. It's like it's too tough. You will not explain, this thing is not difficult. 
you will come down, to, you come down to your level. But if it's only the only time you see Mr. Lion is only when you go to staff room or his office, you won't be friendly with him. You won't want to study his, uh, what he's teaching you. So as science students, we have subjects we must pass, whether we like them or not. And it is for possibly we like them. That's why we must think very well. Why am I choosing this course? Why do I want to go into this field? Let me put to you this money. There is no course that is not good. There is no profession that is, will not give you money. There is no profession that you cannot make it in it. It depends on you. I always tell people, it says, change starts with me. The success is in me. When you're talking about, I want to be brilliant, I want to be a renowned person in society. Some of us, they ask today, they want to be like Femi Falano. They want to be like Gani Fawe Yimi. It is true, we will be better than them. But before we be better than them, we have to do what they did not do. Let's go back to the cradle. Let's go back to the roots. Let's go back to the onset. Let's reshape our foundation. The scripture says when the foundation is faulty, what will the righteous do? We don't know. We just become the righteous, we fast righteous, we pray righteous, we do this. But now you still have the opportunity not to make a wobble foundation. You are still in the advantage of choosing and choosing very well. You, you have opportunity. I always tell people, don't allow your teacher to choose for you. I'm a psychologist, a philosopher. I can look at you and say, oh, the way you behave, you'll be a good lawyer. It's just a piece of advice. If you don't want to be, I'm not, I won't say compulsively go and be a lawyer. But I'll just look at you and say, oh, the way I'm looking at you, you'll be a very good engineer. Huh? You like to do this, you like. If you don't like science, don't go. Or uh, don't go into it. So as science as si students, I could say that general math is compulsory for you. It's good for you to do some further math. That further math will help you when you get to tertiary institution. You must pass your physics. Um, I think this one is talking generally because you could take there. It's what you call it in senior secondary school. TG. Is that your technical drawing? That is what's gross to technical yeah. drawing. Okay, that's what you must do when you get to senior secondary school. And now put your steps involved in career selection. Why do you choose these steps? Why are we choosing career? I like um, Mr. Olani. I like the way uh, he teaches very well. When he talks, he talks like uh, as if he was not born in Nigeria. Some of us may look at uh, Dr. Oladushu, Mr. Oladushu. I want to be okay, oh, I want to be like Mr. Oladushu. When he's in class, I like the way, you know, things like that. You, may, you must have a reason for choosing a career. Don't just say, because my father is a doctor, I must be a doctor. There's something I always tell my people, I always tell my students, you must be better than your parents. If I'm a doctor, I always challenge my children that you must be better than me. My foundation was not as good as your own. My own time, what is studying. I, I always tell my students that then I was like very optimistic that I must pass. But yeah, there was not this driving force that go and read, you must study. Nobody must force you to read. You may take your book, your book must be your friend. Someone was talking about ICT, yeah, that they are too glued to their computer. I'll tell you, there's something bad in taking your parents' phone because at this age, you're not supposed to, ordinarily, you're not supposed to have a phone of your own. But if our parents are magnanimous in all, or it's not, I won't call it luxury, it's not that they, are, they have money. But if they want to pamper us, they give us phone, please let's utilize the phone very well. You can download, you can check. I want to be a banker. What am I going to do to be a successful? Don't just be a banker. Be a successful. Maybe if your father is a banker, you must be a successful banker. Better than, even if he's successful, you will tell yourself that I have to be better than my father. I need to be better than my mother. I read a book, We Are the Children of the Great Men. We are the children of the rich. I will mention names. We started mentioning names today. That, okay, this man was renowned when he was alive. This one was this. We are their children. Children, students, are we together? Yes. Yes, yes please. I will be looking at your parents. Be looking at the status they are now. 
Be looking at the standard they are now. Be looking at what they have achieved now. Tell yourself, by the time I'm 50, I will have done better than this. I will have achieved better than this. My name will have been known all over the globe. That is the way we should grow. When you are growing that way, you will know the tricks and the tricks of success. You will know where to go. You know what to do. That is what we are. That is what you should be thinking of as students. Now, when, when you know your why, um, maybe the reason it may not be the interest now. But let's talk about the reason. Why am I going into this profession? I want to be an artist. Oh, I like when I came in this morning. I love this creativity around. You know, from the entrance. I said, wow. You know, look at this thing, pencil. It has so many um, tentacles. Music is there, like she said. You want to be like the video. You want to be like uh, different things you want to be. Look at food. That, that pencil, you may not be using pencil again. Maybe you are using biro. You are using pen. It's still the same thing as this pencil. It means a lot. That means that pencil takes you to the peak of everywhere you want to go in life. That your pen, that your pen, the way you utilize it means a lot in your life. There's this universe song, when we're great, the song says, there are so many ways to do well in life. Some people have chosen to be garage boys. Thank God we are here today. And I know we will not do it. We will not, we will not leave this pedestrian. We will continue to grow there. Is that right? Yes, Yes, we have chosen it. We will continue to be there. So, any, any day, Always let this picture go in your mind. There is something that is written there. We learn, we do what? Yes. yes, when we learn, we become great. Why are we here today? We are here to come and rob minds. Some of us may talk. I always allow my students to talk because nobody has monopoly of wisdom. There is a philosopher that says nobody knows everything and nobody knows nothing. Because I'm anchoring, uh, uh, because I'm a facilitator this morning, doesn't mean I know everything about you. Doesn't mean I know everything. Some of you may enlighten us. That's why it is a learning, teaching and learning. I teach, I learn. You learn, you teach. Don't look at yourself you are a student, or we are still students. What do you know? Because you are still learning doesn't mean you don't know anything. You know so many things. And there's something I always tell my learners, tell students, boldness. You know, I was asking you a question. I wanted to see the boldness in you. Why won't you be bold? Who will beat you? And I always tell them, who says you cannot make mistakes? The error of mistake is making mistakes and falling in and sitting down in the mistake. Oh, first term, chapter secondary school posted the first term CA about two weeks ago. Some of us, their parents would have scolded us, hey, you are wasting my money, you are not doing well. Let them know that you are not wasting their money. You know, the life is, I always equate this life with the life of animals. When you put a snail here overnight, by the time you wake up with the following morning, if the, if the snail is not in the abomination, the snail will have crawled to this place. But if you put a dog, an elephant, there, under in the tip of a high and eye, where will you see the elephant, dog? Ah. Where will you see them? Outside. But you know, they are growing, they are growing at their own pace. That is what education is telling us now. Fingers are not equal. When you're talking about more motensory, 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 we all like to say it. But we are not making use of it very well. Here are four of us, mommies and daddies. The level at which I will assimilate may be different from his own. If I read for one hour, he may read for under 20 minutes and I understand very well. It's like watching a film. Ah, we enjoyed that film. So impacting, so educating this. That and the other give us this pencil. Right. All of us here will not write the same way. Some will write brilliantly. Some will write in their own uh, capacity. But you, what are we arriving at? We will still arrive at the same point. That's why I always tell parents, please don't push these children. Let them have reasons for choosing career. You see, your brother is in America. He is studying there and find out when he was in Nigeria. And you must be, he's making money. He has sent money home. We built houses for him. 
tell your mommy, tell your daddy that how we do, how we have my own. All of us are not supposed to go on the same pedestrian. I will make my own. So I have reason for choosing your own career. The second one there says, don't choose based on financial perception. You know some of us, ah, teachers, no man, no money. Ah, yeah. my parents was in school last week. If you see what uh, my mommy gave my teacher, ah, I want to become a teacher because of that. Not from our family, he gives me, we give me gifts here and there. Please, don't look at that. Lawyers, ah, charge and pay. Hmm. Hey, I will do charge and pay. My come and go all your money. Hey, no, 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 no. Doctor, ah, when I have my own clinic, I will be working for Fedra. I will be, I will get to work in UCH and UITH, and I will still have my own big clinic. No, it's good to have money. Honestly speaking, money is very good. We will make money. We are getting there, but don't choose because of money. Ah, my uncle, hmm, he has 10 houses in this lawyer because he's a lawyer. Ah, I must study a uh, uh, law. And at the end of the day, you may write jam. And funnily, some institutions are so funny, you may score 300, you are 400, and they will put you in history and international relations. A crime. Hey, I wanted to study law. They put me in history and international relations. The person will not be doing well again. Be focused. Don't choose because of money. The time what we have there is nobody should choose a career for you. I'm your mother. Ah, eh, hey, what's your name? Pelumi. Pelumi, you know, I want you to be a medical doctor. Doctor Neo, I could be the first born. I mean, you're a doctor. It is true, you tell your mommy, you too, you will have gone to study medicine. You can't compel me, you can't impose it on me. If you know your capacity cannot take sciences, Fikemba, biology. I can't forget biology. We draw that biology. When I was in secondary school, I never liked my biology teacher because we draw. The woman will now circle. I know the thick bit was too. He said, This thing is too thick. It has to be tiny. I said, ah. But I got this thing right. Now the name is correct. That's when they were telling you something by monopoly. They don't know die quality. You know that kind of thing. The jaw breaking names. When you miss the E for instead of I. You know, English is so funny at times. Instead of I, you write E, they say hey, wrong. Ah. I see a German half. You know, in my own time, it was even good. You, they will look at some things, they will give you 5 over 10. But this uh, CBT error, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. If you choose minus 4, it's no consideration. That's why you must study everything very well. So don't let anybody choose for you. You may have a role model. I like that teacher. Ah, very disciplined, is that, you, different qualification. You can qualify the person for whatsoever. But don't because of that say you want to become what he or she says you should be. Sit down and reason. Will I be good in this area? Do I have the temperament to go to this area? So that is our one. Don't allow anybody to choose for you. Where do I intend to settle? Where do I intend to live in future? Let me take, quickly tell you a story of a lady. She studied um, architecture. I think five years, and in, 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 in the institution where she studied, you must do masters. Immediately you finish. You did, after masters, you now go for your NYC. She did masters. She went for NYC. Fortunately or unfortunately or unfortunately, she got married. And the husband brought her to Oshun State. She studied Aki. Aki. Please, how many ladies will they give work? Aki, architect. Why do you study architecture? First year, no job. Second year, no job. I now advise, I say, Madam, you better go and apply for teaching. She has gone to do a PGD in education now. And she said, oh, Mom, I went, I wanted to go to school. I waited three years because I wanted to study Aki. There was a time they said, I should come and study this. I didn't go. I said, eh, well, what am I saying? I said, hey, ladies, there are some courses you study that let them open the floor and you'll be living there. you get something to do. Open the roof and go to study. You get something to do. I'm sorry, I asked you that I like my new profession, teacher. There is no way I can operate. If I go to the remote the, the, the village, the, the, I will go to I will get a job. If there is no job, I will constitute a jelly semi. Or yeah, you will body. I will be teaching. They will be giving me five five naira every month. I'm not saying we should all become teacher. 
if I, I would don't let me even displace myself. He said, if anyone wants to come in charge, yeah, nobody will stop me. Uh, uh, don't let me ask. I know, but I know some of us are coming. We are expecting some of us. It's a noble profession. I want to tell you, I'm a good model, and I like the profession very well. So don't let anybody choose for you. My boy in junior secondary school, I want to believe you should be up to 10 years old. Yes. At that age, is an age of reasoning. Age that you sit down, you, you begin to rationalize. When I was 18, I was like, uh, anywhere they asked me to go, that time has gone. We are in ICT, I, 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 ICT age. You have to be very fast. Think and think very well. That what makes you exceptional. You can reason better than your mates. You can act faster than your colleagues. That is why we call you exceptional students. So at this tender age, I will call it tender age, junior secondary school, you can still reason. If you have not been doing so, sit down as from today, at the end of this lecture today, and start asking yourself, who is my role model? When you see successful people, they always have role model. When you talk about uh, JJ Ty, uh, Ty Web, JJ Rousseau, so don't mind me, I want to say JJ Rousseau, <laughs> a philosopher. But this boy, uh, uh, Ty Web, Ty Web, Ty Web, uh, what are you? Uh, they have role models. The day, uh, they video, they talk about me. They, they have role models. So you two should be looking at somebody. And your role model, you should be better than your role model. And I always tell my people, my students, if I cough, you must know what it means. When I look at you, you must know what I'm passing to you, the information I'm passing to you. So you must have role model. If you don't have Bracket S with this, have a, at least a role model. A role model that will inspire you to go high and you'll be higher than the person. And in future, you now say, Mr. Ladoshi, you were my role model when I was in school. You may not know. I was studied you. I walked in your paths. And thank God, um, I, I'm here, where I am today. You will be happy to go and tell him, and he will smile, you'll be happy. So please don't allow anybody to choose career for you. Okay, where you want to intend to set to that story, where you intend to set to. So think of it. In future, am I living in Nigeria? Am I living abroad? If I marry paraventure, I'm in a village. My husband is a medical doctor. Maybe he's, he's a director of Saka or Naka, and they posted him to a village. I will be living there with him. Will I get a job there? So think. And some of us in the SS classes, maybe, I know, at this, at this level, if you have somebody, say, see, SIN. If you have somebody, you are, you are, okay, you are getting married in the future, at this level, you are cynical. So don't think of it now. But we, we rationalize that our adventure. It happens this way. But that doesn't mean, we don't devote time to it. We just think, where will I settle down? Where will I live in the future? Okay, I'd like to be in Lagos. Then you think of the career that goes with Lagos, things like that. So and I say, kind of lifestyle I want. Maybe you like to be an artist, you carry Afro. I saw a boy who carried one uh, bushy. I said, well, go and lower this and say, mommy, I want to be an artist. And I'm both myself, good for you. So please think of your lifestyle as you are choosing your career. And I think that assess yourself. When I was in school, we used to call our counselor, oh, you can't be me, I can't be you. Individual differences. We about say, you can't be me, I can't be you, like, like. And uh, that is true. When you see Taiwan and Kendi, born at the, by the same mother, the same day, almost the same hour, they cannot behave the same way. Taiwan may decide to be in our class, then they may decide to be in a commercial or whatever, or science class. Losing because ah, eh, she's my friend and I want to be, I want to, I, I want us to be together. Maybe she's very good as a science subject. You cannot go there. Maybe you, you must know yourself, study yourself, assess yourself, ask yourself, what can I do? Assess yourself very well and you make a list. Make a list of occupations to explore. Like I said earlier on, when you take your parents, um, iPhone, whatever phone, laptop, check courses, professions. 
you have just Google, type the professions in Nigeria. Then look at them. Oh, I like this. The particular one you like, now explore. Do look more, check more on that particular course. Where will it lead you to? And I have another one. Explore the occupation on your list. Whatever you want to do, maybe you have you are thinking about five, then begin to explore. Think of it. Where will this one lead me to? What will I achieve in doing this? How many people will I be saying when I do this? That is it. And I create a short list. That is when you have that one. Okay, now narrow your work down. Okay. I've gone all through. If I go, don't do medicine, I can do nursing, I can do lab science, I can do this. Work within that environment. Then narrow it down. But okay, when it comes to the worst, I will go for this one. Okay. Conduct informational uh, interviews. You know? But you can, like, you can ask people, maybe you have an uncle who is a lawyer and you want to be a lawyer. You know, you can interview him, sir. When you were in school, what happened? I understand lawyers, they said they are liars. Is it true? I understand lawyers are this. Is it this? You ask questions. You interview them. Personal interview. Nobody is, we are not writing the exam, but because you want to go, you do that. And I have, make your career choice. Identify your goals. Write a career action plan. How do you write a career action plan? You know, it's like you want to find, you want to establish something. You ask, are you written your feasibility study? Ask, ask yourself, what am I going to do in future? Begin to write on it. I'm a successful teacher. You know? Just put it, don't say I will be. See yourself as a successful teacher. Within your environment, you are, you are a senior, you are in SS2. Call the ones in SS3, uh, in GS3 or GS2. Gather them together, be teaching them, be practicing. See yourself as people. I want to be a teacher in future. How would I do it? Am I going to do it? Or be practicing. And if you want to be a medical doctor too, don't run away from things like uh, blood. When they want to slaughter chicken at home, uh, uh, maybe if I or the, what do you call it? Hey, ask them, let me slaughter it for you. When you are too young. Tell me, no, I'm not young. You are practicing. Can I stand blood? Can I stand pain? Things like that. Begin to rationalize. That's how you are. Make you do. If you can stand it, then you now ask yourself that I'm going to do to go on this area. After career selection, engage yourself in the following. When you have decided, you have chosen. Okay, I think if this one doesn't work for me, this will work. At least like five. Just be, don't 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 live a, a, a life. A, 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 okay, it must be this. Compulsion, it must be this. Frustration will come. Just give yourself like five. Okay. I, we are science students. If you are not in uh, medicine, you can be in anatomy, you can be in this. Just write, look for the five things and begin to look at where you can work. Then engage yourself in hard work. I must make it in life. If you, when you look at the successful people, they are not lazy people. Though some people will tell you, walk and pray. You pray along with your work. But you have to learn to be. Uh, you, you must learn and you must work towards achieving success in life. And as a self-reflection, you know, sit down, like I've mentioned, ask yourself, can I handle this? When it comes to this, can Enela accommodate this? You know, you ask yourself, you reflect. You know, when, when you are no more in the midst of your parents, your friends, you are alone. Ask yourself, you know your strengths, you know what you can do, so you do self-reflection. Investigate on your choice. I've said that one when I was talking. Part of the investigate. You know a medical doctor, you want to be a doctor. You are white. You know, the pride in the white. You know, you know what white means. No stain. Neat. Pride. Shoulder up. But you must touch. You must be brilliant. Before you can dissect, before you can diagnose, before you can recommend, before you can prescribe. So that to investigate and you have to do it with this talk. Think, okay, in case it happens this way, we won't be like you. That is that. Write out your priorities, I've said, and you plan, plan it. You have to plan and plan and plan very well. You have to plan. And I plan, my boy, junior secondary school, start planning. Start planning. 
chapel. Do I have anybody in junior secondary school among you? All of you senior. That's like, right. okay. Start planning. So our parents will say the, the sun in the sky can still dry our clothes. I always tell people that it's not even your clothes, your blankets. As thick as your blanket is, the sun in the sky can still dry your blanket. When you squeeze it, you know how to turn it, you know how to maneuver it to dry it very well. So I have um, this is part of what I was saying when I was talking about the curriculum the other time. The subject you have to do, this part of it, I think it was your distance. The you know, the classes we have, you have the classes in secondary school, especially when it comes to senior secondary school. You know, like I said, junior secondary school, you do all the courses. But when you now get to secondary school, that's where it is like special in the area of specialization. You look at humanities. When you talk about humanities, what area of studies are you talking about? What would I be? What would I become in the future when you are in humanities? Look into law, become a lawyer, you become like my auntie that introduced me here this morning, operate a fair person, you speak with your nosery, things like that, mass communicators, and so many uh, things we have under that linguistics, performing arts, history, international studies, among other things. This performing arts, I want to talk on it. I was in a program like this. A, a student now asked the question that he would have loved to study uh, theater arts, he called it theater arts, depending on the institution. From the institution, we call it theater arts, and from all their own performing arts. He said his mother would not allow him to study uh, theater arts. He exchanged numbers with his mom and things like that. You see, performing that, you don't go there to go and dance alone. You don't go there to go and put bead in your hands alone. Or things, the, the crazy things you think they do. You turn your ear to rasta. They are brilliant people. For some of us in arts, we will be thinking of becoming a lawyer. You know, it's all, it is, now it is you know, under the new curriculum, not with humanities. Think of, okay, parameter is the law is not coming. The performing arts is even, it's like history, international relations. When we were growing, when we were in school, you know, some people that, those of us that applied for law, they put them in history. History, when you are writing history, you don't lift up your head. You know, you must know dates, time, things like that, in, in that order. So, it, you know, when you're talking about art class, I don't know why many parents believe that it's only dollars. I know the no man does art class. It's a lie. Oh. Let me tell you, if you are not brilliant, you can't go to art class. We we'll talk about Masa Musa was this, uh, Mohammed Ali was this. In that order, uh, down, you must not miss anything. So please, if you want to be in art class, be and be very well. Sit down comfortably there. That, that is humanity. So we have business studies. For those of us, we have some people in our country class here. Ali. Yes, for those of us in accounting class, business studies, you know, you can go. Where you are saying, I want to be an accountant. I know some of us want to work in bank, Abby. Yes, tie that tie in bank. Yes, yes, yes. Let's look at accounting, economics, business administration. They are very, they are what you must do. I will show you the courses you will do along with that. And we have science and math, science. So, science and mathematics. Uh, I don't know why the mathematics there. When you talk about science, you know, science, what do we look at? You so want to be a pharmacist, you want to be a medical doctor, you can study anatomy, you want to go into nursing, and you like. And when you talk about technologies, yeah, the technology, and when you get the study technology, the technologies, there are so many things they did. Techno, uh, what do you call it? Technocrats, or what do you call them? You are many things that can look at, aside of this few ones you are mentioning. That they are uh, studios, engineers, so many things you can see along that line. Yeah. And we have, um, I'll see, there is a question I'll still talk on that one. I know that we have few parents in the house. But some of our uh, students, please, when we get to, let's talk with our parents. Oh, where are we going today? This is for, for these students. You know, parents and career choice. Okay. For their children, okay. They are choosing career for their children. You know what I talk about parents? I think I said it along the line. We are not to choose career for our children. As a teacher, is a parent. I always tell people, 
as, as a teacher, he has three sets of children. He has academic children. He brought them here today. His biological children may not be among them, but he brought his academic children. They are so jamming in his life. They are so paramount. So you are putting on trousers and share this money. It's because of them. I always tell my students, if you are not here, I may not be here. I can put on makeup and the likes today because of you. It is from your money that they are paying you. So they are important in our lives. And we must take them as being important in our lives. Because of them, we are living. Because of them, we can take care of our own family. So cheap, don't choose for them. You can guide, you can advise. And students, when we advise you, don't run away from us. Oh, I want it to be a particular thing I mentioned. If you don't want to, don't because of that run away. Ah, sir, I, that thing, I like it, but I don't want to. Some of us will like. One woman came, she said she asked her daughter to choose a particular course. And the child lied. The child filled the return form. And the mother thought she chose that particular one. You know, you don't need to lie. At the end of the day, we told the mother that ma, she chose what she likes and she will do well in it. It is true, it is what you like, but let him know that you like, don't because of that run away from him, you won't get it again. I was talking about our children, our academic children, our environmental children. Some of us, I train people living with me. Whether I'm paying on you or I'm not paying on you, you are my environmental child. We, we need them. We are, I'm not going to choose for them. Because I don't know your parents, I'm paying on you, you live with me, doesn't mean and I'm sorry, I've sent you to school. Doesn't give me authority to say you must study this course. I will advise you. And our biological children. That's why I say teacher, we have three separate children, environmental, academic, and biological. So we must guide them. We are not to choose for them. Unfortunately, we must do this. Parents are okay, this is why parents should not uh, should guide their children on career. Uh, selection. Why parents should guide their children on their career selection? Why we must guide them? Students have told you. Are we still together, students? Yes. 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 Yeah. Very yes. Are you see, Are you enjoying the class? Yes. yes. Okay. I will ask you a question now. Uh, uh, the reason why our parents should not choose for us, we will go home and tell them. You know why you choose for your children? <laughs> You know, you are, you, are, you are laboring them. Their strength may not be able to, uh, to, to, to carry what you want them to do. So if you don't choose for them, you reduce their stress. Allow Bola to choose what she likes. Tell me what, what do you want to do? He tells you what he wants to do, guide him. So you are not to choose for your children to reduce uh, uh, the prayer of the children. You know, ah, mommy says, mommy says, ah, any time the child is reading, hey, the mind will be there, hey, if I feel this, my mommy will cry. I know we don't want our mommies to cry. Daddy will just, daddy may not be happy, but daddy will not cry. But mommy will just, ah, mommy will go away and see the bike. And you won't want mommy to shed tears. Then you will not be stressing yourself, which will cause problems for you. Education has gone to the level that you choose, you do things that you can maneuver with. Things you can toss here and there, things you can play with, uh, things I'm talking about, subjects which you know that I'm very good at this. I can do this easily, even when they wake me. Even if they take it beside devil to go and mark, I will make distinction with this. So, parents, please. Uh, maturity, you know when you look at the maturity in children, like this era, we are, I told you that I'm in early years, bring back our primary six. We are talking about maturity in children. Most of these children are not, you know, some of them will get to primary one at age six or five. They will skip class, no promotion. By the time they are age eight, they are already in primary five. I say, ah, my child is going to secondary school. We are conversing for bring back our primary six. Usually in private schools, primary six must come back. We are sending babies to secondary school. We are constituting problem for the teachers for the society, and for the children. They are not mature. The mind is not ready for secondary school. I won't ask for your age, but I know some of us, SS3, we are 15, 14, 14, 15 in SS3. Where are we rushing to? 
because of the maturity level, we must not choose for our children. Allow them to be at their own pace. Parents should not choose for their children. What they we support them, okay. We, we support them. We are not choosing for them, but we should support them. We should support our children. Let's give them support. Support comes in different areas, in different angles. You know, you support your advice, you support uh, you can sell, you support to do assignment together. Homework. We have left homework, uh, our assignment for the parents, uh, for the teachers and the ourselves. They are the environmental people. Go, and uh, when the home teacher comes, uh, let her take, go to that room. Please, parents should be there for their children. We should support them. Support, don't beat. Don't tongue lash. Don't see them as quickly. But support them with cancer. And we have, we, with our own experience, you know, this era they are doing, we've gone through this before. So let's Let's talk with experience. Oh, when I was doing this is what happened. When I was doing this, this is what I did. Let's support them with our experience. We should not just leave them and allow them to be doing it. Uh, try and error. That error has gone. We need to cancel them with our own experience. Or experience of people we have seen in the past. Parents have career shows for their children. Children and their, and their own career, okay. Okay, choosing the right field of study. I think I mentioned when I was talking about choosing the right field of okay. And have you, like I said, I have thought about this before. The courses we have to do when, okay, the courses we have to do when we are choosing career. Let me quickly go on this, like we talked about of uh, English mathematics. There is this uh, Nigerian language. Many schools are not doing this Nigerian language in uh, Secondary school, sharp secondary school. Okay, that lady, that girl, what's your name? Yes, you. Uh, eh? Agola. Okay, are you in science or art class? Science class. Please, can you mention the subjects you are doing for us? Maths, English language, physics. Chemistry, biology, geography, further maths, agricultural science, probably civic. You do civic. No language. Thank you. Sit down. Okay. Um, your school, please. I did. Okay. Let me let me call that boy. Yeah, in glasses. I like to use in glasses. Are you okay in science or art class? Science. Anybody in art class? A boy in art class. Okay, sit down, thank you. Yeah, art class. Tell us what you do. Your subjects. Math. What class are you? SS2, okay. Math. Mathematics, English, the course of it, okay. Government. Government. Literature. Yoruba. Okay, that's where I'm going. That's nice. I've gotten that Yoruba. Okay. Your school, senior secondary school. Okay. Hello, girl. Senior secondary school, Saint Joseph. Science, arts, commercial. Anybody in commercial class? Eh? Commercial. Okay. Let's let me hear you. your subjects. You are not doing Nigerian language. No language. Okay. Um. Let me come to this. Uh, commercial class. Do you do Nigerian language? Do you do? No. no. Um, teachers, I don't know. The deficiency is in our curriculum. I think we have to correct it inwardly. Please, you know when we are in the gathering like this, we should say it to ourselves. How on earth we a child in this environment? What, what do you now refer to as Nigerian language? We are not doing Igbo, we are not doing outside, we are not doing Yoruba. It happened to a girl. She wanted to go to Adeyemi College. Adeyemi, OAU, oh, Adeyemi, they have a degree there. So she passed um, all her subjects. But you know in Adeyemi, it's education. There is no law, there is no uh, international education or whatever. But in Adeyemi, she wanted to study English education. They, they said they were not going to give her English education because she did not do 
Nigerian language. So she ended up taking just any course. And I don't want us to just accept any course. So please, uh, Agola, I do know, what class are you? SS2 or 3? Three? 3. Sir. Ah, I need to rectify that. Let's look into it, sir. No, government policy, government policy, be in, in house, it has to be corrected. Let me tell you one thing. She is doing a uh, civic. What is the relevance of civic to us? That's what I said. It's not, no. I, I, there was a time we went to where like I told them that it should help us to tell them. Madam, this this kind of gathering we are we are today is not part of the curriculum. Is it part of curriculum? It's not part of the curriculum. Why did you not bring them in? Why do we why do we now bring them in? If we can create uh, a venue for this, we can do that as well. If I'm in secondary school, huh, I would rather allow my our students to do CV. You tell me you are doing a Greek and you are doing animal or one. They won't find them separately from yeah, institution. Yes. You are telling me you are doing a civic, you are doing a what other thing related to this key or whatever. They won't, they won't take it. It's from institution. So please, inwardly, let's look at it and help these children because of their future. It's happened to a lady that wants to travel, she wanted to travel abroad that, because she has come. You know, she had to go and register for uh, this exam. Uh, now ten. She made all her papers, but according to what I heard, the institution she wanted to go would not take her without having any Nigerian language. So please, let's look um, into it. We are still talking about the courses you do, uh, Islamic studies, or whatever, social studies, for junior secondary school. That's this one, is, uh, and this one for um, senior secondary school. This is what we're talking about. Let me talk on this one very well. This uh, entrepreneurship, it is very, very good now. In, in the past, we used to talk about informal and formal education. When I was teaching in secondary school, I told them this entrepreneurship, it was only paper entrepreneurship we were doing. We could not do ordinary beach. And uh, it was written that uh, at the end of the, uh, this, the objective, the student must know how to do this. Please, let's take entrepreneurship very seriously. I, I know it is a, 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 this kind of, the, uh, this, uh, what we call it, Western education we do now. But if, when we were growing, we used to sing this song, which I know some of us will know. If you know, let's sing together. But I mean, I do go, go, can you know it? Oh yeah, but I'm here to go, go, can't do Hello, is this is this this true? Yes, let somebody talk on that. Is it is uh, is it is that statement still true? Chapu, oh yeah, talk. What's your name? In glasses. Your name? Ekudai. Okay, okay. Is it true? Yes, so yeah. Can you analyze it? You can do well with You can do well with it. 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 You they are now looking for job. In my own time, class was class automatically. Even at the camp, wherever I see camp, you know, see different big, big companies. They will come and will be looking up. He says that should not make first class. You know, different companies will come for them. But now, you see first class people writing uh, 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 applications. What this one is talking about is that you must get skilled. Somebody did this one. You will tell me that somebody that made this one will be hungry, or the person will not have money. You know, it is creativity, and it is mistake we are making. When you talk about education, we have blue taxonomy. That is the definition of education from the beginning to the end. When you are talking about education, it is blue taxonomy. The cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. 
But the major thing we are dealing with is just the cognitive. Ah, this boy is good. He can speak, he can run, he can do. Nobody will see him. But ah, this one he speaks. Hmm. He writes excellently. It's only cognitive we are dealing with. So please, let's take entrepreneurship very well. this morning, maybe something that has been bothering your mind from home, from school, from society, and you will be part of what I've said this morning. So uh, let's, let's listen to questions, ask questions. Okay. So that you will be in the career. in the case that when you are better at two things, like at different occupations, it's very hard to be a Like when someone is good with catering, and when something is also good with business, how can you inspire to be a Business, catering, and business. Mm -hmm. uh, they go at all. Okay. Can I just. Okay, say thank something? you, sir. I think what he's trying to say, what because I, I have Dr. Okay. Maismon say something to me that multi talented students always have problems at times. Because they are good in art, they can swim, they are um, creative. They get confused because they can almost fit in in art, mm -hmm. science, and commercial. Okay. So they find there is this conflict of interest. I remember when I was also in Sakam a colleague of mine, very good in English. He's in science. So it was like, is it English or medicine? He ended up choosing medicine. But that time of tossing and trying to think, okay, what do I choose? Because you see somebody who is, who is naturally a fine artist, he can draw, he can paint, he can sing, he's in choir, he's everywhere. He's in literacy club, debates, competition. And so that kind of child feels confused that I'm almost good in almost everything I do now. So how do I do this career? Thank I think you, that's why it's so simple. Okay, thank you, you can sit down. You know I said it when I was talking about junior secondary school, that when you are in junior secondary school, you do all the courses. You are jack of all trades, master of all, not no. You must master everything. Then when you are now going to SS1, that's when you now sure. discover yourself. Which one would I choose? Sure. That's where you talk about where will I live in the future? Who is my role model? Will I make my parents be happy when I choose this course? Will I satisfy my own curiosity when I choose this career? Okay. You know, that is where it comes. Some people may, they may even, when you're talking about, they may not be genius, but they may just be everywhere all around them. Then you not think of your own what you are going to do. Have I to some extent? Okay, yeah. thank you. Manabas. Thank you. Okay, I like your questions. You see, the number, for number one question, it, I have seen it several times. With your junior wife, you will be placed into classes. Your counselor, counselors in school will place you into class. But we are correcting that now. That's why you see some, they, they, there is a form that we give to parents undertaking, letter of undertaking. If you know anybody, I read together, Barnabas, if you know anybody, tell your junior uh, student, your junior friends in school. If they place them in a the class they don't want, maybe I want to go to a science class 
and she say uh, she's placing me in commercial class. You can go and meet another counselor. The counselor will not tell you to bring your parents. Your parents will come and write letter of undertaking. This boy has interest in arts class. Don't put him in commercial class. And as students, you should be friendly with your teachers. You should be close to your teachers. You should see them as your parents. Go and meet them. Auntie, please, not where you have plenty of people. Because of the nature of their job, they may not be able to attend, attend to that time. At least look at them or one of them. Go and meet out. Please, ma. Please, sir. Or a group of them. Uh, ma, it was a mistake that I did not pass away when I was in junior secondary school. I didn't want to be in this class. They will listen to you. They are your parents. They will listen. But when it now comes to, oh, they will not listen. They are not. They not listen. And you have been placed in a particular class. What you need to do is that I tell people there is no wrong choice, of course. It is for you to now work well. It is for you to at least showcase yourself in that particular class that you are. And your second question, as a child, as the only child in the family, it's common. Ah, as the only child, as my only child, you must study this, you must do this. Well, parents are now, they are, they are coming up because we are doing seminars and workshops like this for parents. Even the literate parents, they are listening to radio, listening to their friends. There are these programs they do on radio. Don't choose for your children. Allow them to choose on their own. Allow them to take their area of interest. So I think parents are now coming and they are allowing their children. And if you fall into that group, or you know whoever that is in that group, uh, that falls into that the, the, the end level, tell the person or the people, go and meet your parents. Sir, ma, I don't want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. Or I don't want to be a lawyer. I want to be this. You say it. And if you are not ready to listen, you must have a friend among your teachers in school. Go and meet one of your teachers. Ah, please, can you help me to speak with my parents? You want to do this particular course on me, which I don't want. I think that has answered your question. Okay, Ivy. Yes, ma'am. I, I question is that um, I if it's a course that is not available in the university, like, if you want to pick another course, like for example, now what I want, how I would like to study is not available in Nigerian universities. So, either I will have to accept like, you for the one that is available. Okay, the thank you, my dear. I will answer your question. I will call you. And I, whatever I tell you, kindly tell others. While I was talking, uh, my senior colleague came in. And kindly help me to welcome uh, Dr. Ojola. Let's hear from you.